Oh, but r r why it is right now, but uh, black pepper seems to taste pretty good with milk. How much can I overdo this black pepper because this stuff really tastes good, especially in the 2% the milk. And I'm like, could I overdo it? It smells so good. When I crush it, it smells good. It tastes good with the right foods. But I'm like, what happens if I, if I overdo it? Like, I know it's one of the most prized spices out there, and people have consumed it for, for hundreds of years. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Am I gonna ruin my dates by putting in a lot of turmeric? That was kind of an accident. And then oat bran. So it looks like my dates got really moldy with spots. It looks like the the uh, turmeric has taken over. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, not bad. I think turmeric goes good with dates. Mmm, a nice bitter with a sweet. You can't go wrong with that. You have to combine bitter with sweet. There's no other way. It's a little confusing how uh, Chinese medicine interprets uh, what is a proper taste for the liver because some people are saying sour, some people are saying bitter, and I'm like, um, you know, both, both would probably be good for the, for the, um, liver, okay? Because both, both are going to help di with digestion, and anything that stimulates digestion is good for the liver. It takes the pressure off of the liver. I admit, with the help of the turmeric, I didn't eat as much of these uh, dates as I normally would. I would just be scarfing them down till I'm sick. But the bitterness really controls my appetite. I swear, it should be a law to bring bitters back into grocery stores.